that games begin. March Madness kicks off this week, technically today, and basketball fans are willing to invest their time and their money to watch their favorite teams. Karen Kafa looks at the cost to fans and employers in today's Consumer Watch. The three-week college basketball blitz known as March Madness leads to more spending than you might think, and not just in those office pools. Gear, maybe buying a new flat screen TV, and of course the parties and those brackets. So it is a big spending sport, much higher than you might anticipate. There's a cost for employers, too. An annual tally from Challenger Gray and Christmas estimates distractions like filling out brackets and catching a glimpse of tournament play during the first two days of games could cost businesses as much as $1.9 billion in lost productivity. A survey by Retail Me Not found 27% of respondents will find a way to tune into a game during work hours. 14% said they'd be willing to call in sick to give themselves more time to watch the action. Others will take a long lunch. What will Americans give up to make time for March Madness? The Retail Me Not survey found almost one third said they'll skip their workout routine to watch. These games really are all encompassing. Thankfully, they are only 21 days long, so things should hopefully return back to normal after the final game. And fans aren't the only ones excited about March Madness. Cantor Media says last year's advertisers invested more than $1.1 billion in TV spots. Over the course of the tournament. For Consumer Watch, I'm Karen Kafa. And a lot of local fans are going to be taking Thursday afternoon off, I'm afraid. Well, the tournament actually begins tonight in Dayton for the first four. Fans are being warned to watch out for fake tickets. It's a popular time for people to sell tickets on the web. And experts say if you want to go to a game, go to a special NCAA website to buy those tickets. At UD Arena tonight, Manhattan faces Hampton. Ole Miss takes on BYU in those first four play-in games. UD will actually play tomorrow at Dayton. 